Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome back to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and I'm going to be looking at the second episode of The Handmaid's Tale, Season 1. In the first episode, we kind of got um, the backstory of Offred. Um, her name's June. She was married, had a little girl, uh, when all this changed in the United States, and um, this very psychotic, um, conservative, I would say, ultra-psycho, um, political thing came ab about, um, and they're misusing scripture in the Bible to, um, have this new reality, and looks like the... I don't know if every man in every household is involved in this political movement, uh, but it looks like the wives are in green, and the handmaids are in red, and the Marthas, who are like the cooks and the people that, um, women that, you know, do the cooking and that kind of thing. As I said yeah, last episode, that's in reference to Martha and Mary when Jesus came to their house. Martha was the one who was in the kitchen cooking. Um, so evidently that's where that came from and then they use a story uh, from the Old Testament where um, the wife couldn't have children so she gave her handmaiden to her husband to have sex with so they could have a child so he could have a child um, so that's what they do now and evidently there's a resistance that's fighting this I heard in one comment um, last episode um, so, at the beginning of last episode, they were being chased by the police, or this new government, uh, people, um, and they crashed their car, and her and the daughter went running in the woods, and they caught them, took the daughter, um, she heard gunshots, assuming her husband's been dead, been killed, and, um, showed her with her new family that she's been assigned to, and the ceremony, is when he has sex with her to get her pregnant and the wife is sitting on the bed the handmaiden's head is between her legs and the husband is at the end of the bed having sex with the handmaid so I don't know if she didn't look too happy about it let's put the wife so um, it's obvious that not everybody is happy with this situation um, and even the the husband wasn't, I mean, I don't know how you can do that, but it's bizarre. Um, so I guess we'll, oh, and it showed um, the handmaidens. There was a man who, if you get a uh, convicted of rape, that's the death penalty. So um, they put him in a circle, in the middle of a circle around all these handmaidens, and they were, she blew the whistle. Uh, Aunt Lydia is the lady who runs, is over the, hand means blew the whistle and um, until she blew the whistle again they were able to do whatever they want so they basically killed him by I guess beating on him and um, th that's how they figure out your name OF and the name of the man who's the head of the house so hers is Fred so she's off Fred and that girl's was Glenn so it's off Glenn so um, it's just Sick. Sick and bizarre. But anyway, let's see what happens this second episode. Tangled up in blue. Blue oyster cold. Blue Monday. Our car was that color. We bought it off Craigslist. It smelled like maple syrup. Luke said it was a leak in the radiator. It was probably bad for kids. After we got it fixed, I missed that smell. And so did Anna. She said it smelled like Saturdays. I see that's the ceremony. And she can't stand to even look at her husband doing that, which I don't blame her. He's having trouble. Wait, she the fuck up. That's disgusting. Sickly the fruit. Mm. 
be the Lord open. And that's their normal greeting. Blessed be the fruit, may the Lord open. And that's the wall where they hang people at. We should go. It's gonna pour. I'm like assuming those are people who are against. He's gonna get caught in the ring. Do you work in the city or did you? I was an assistant book editor after my daughter Hannah was born. It was part time, but sometimes it was just paperwork. But we did novels and academic titles. I worked at the university, lecturer in cellular biology. Wow. I thought all the college professors were sent to the colonies. So I had two good ovaries, so they were kind enough to overlook my sinful past. Lucky me. St. Paul's. It was my dad's parish. My daughter was baptized there. Wow. We're tearing it down. They took down St. Patrick's in New York City. Wow. Blew it up and dumped ivory stone in the Hudson River. They fucking erased it. And how do you know that? How do you know there's an eye in my house? Right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And for a second, I'm sure she was thinking they were coming to get her. There's a way to help them. You can join us. What do you mean, us? There's a network. I don't know. I'm not that kind of person. No one is until they have to be. Waterford is important. He's very high up. You should find out and tell us. Ah, she's part of the resistance. She must be part of the resistance. Don't say a word, Marcel. Or she could possibly be lying, trying to get her to. There isn't us. Now, the guardians of the faithful and American soldiers still fight with tanks in the remains of Chicago. Now. Anchorage is the capital of what's left of the United States. What? And the flag that flies over that city has only two stars. Now, darkness and secrets are everywhere. Wow. Now there has to be an us. Because now there is a them. Yep. I like how she talks to herself, that inner dialogue that helps understand what's going on. You need to be careful. By the river? With her, off Glen. Ah. She's my partner. We shop together. Don't get too close to her, it's dangerous. Hmm. Well, he knows. That'd be bad, because you never know who you can talk to and who's... He wants to see you. Commander, to find his office. Why? Nine o'clock. Don't be late. It's forbidden for us to be alone with the commanders. We aren't concubines or two legged wombs. Maybe he knows about Auckland. Have uh, I been invited to my own ending? No, because it isn't an invitation. I can't send my regrets. Right. That's scary. All right. The birth mobile. 
I'll pray for good news. So they're going to check her to see if she's pregnant. The sooner she gets pregnant, the less she has to have sex with him. Praise be. One eyed batshit crazy Janine. Right. All she gave birth to. An unbaby with a pinhead. Her snout like a dog's. No heart. Chances for a healthy birth are one in five. Really? If you can get pregnant at all. There's real coffee. Can you smell it? We do the one. You're doing so great. Oh. Thank you. See, she's not even having a baby. That's bizarre. Oh, that's the one eyed chick, yeah. Okay. He did this with the one before you. Maybe she told someone about it. Let me see what I can find now. It's too dangerous. It'll be okay. I'm sneaky. Would you like a cookie, dear? You shouldn't spoil them. Sugar is bad for them. Oh, surely one won't hurt? It is a special day. Alfred, would you like a cookie? No, thank you. She don't know what to say, yes or no? Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, isn't she well behaved? Like a dog. Oh, I don't think I could do this. My mouth would get me. You can go. <laughs> murdered. No. You are doing so well. We are so proud of you. So the wife is in there and they're pretending. Get her to the chair. Tell her it's time. It's time to push. Push, push, push. push. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Push, push, push. Breathe, breathe. <laughs> oh, and then she's acting like she's pregnant. So just like they have sex, she's going to sit behind her and be like she's having the baby. Oh, how stupid. Push, push, push. That's ridiculous. This is the most bizarre thing I have ever seen. Girl. <laughs> yeah, but she don't get her baby. She has to turn it over to that lady. Think of what's to come for you, my girl. Yeah, she don't get her baby. And now she's in bed acting like she just gave birth. That's sick. How sad is that? That is just heartbreaking. If she wasn't crazy, she'd be crazy after this. She can't even be happy. No one knew anything about what your commander might want. Sorry. But that doesn't mean it's bad. 
If he accuses you of something, don't defend yourself, don't explain, just apologize. They love to be forgiving. Okay. Thank you for trying. No worries. They probably just want to blow a job. Be careful, a lot of the drivers work for the eyes. Mm-hmm. He said I shouldn't trust you. He said you were dangerous. Really? Yeah. Oh. Caleb used to do that when he ate. Pull my hair like that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Caleb's your brother. Man. Please, God, don't let me be a fucking moron. <sighs> yeah, take a deep breath. You have no idea what's going to happen. I know she has to be scared. Close the door behind you. Sit down. I want. This will sound silly. I'd like to play a game with you. A game? Yes. You're good, but I got you at the end there. I'm rusty. Then we'll have to have a rematch. All right. I'm out of town next week, but when I get back... I'll check my schedule. Wow. See if you can squeeze me in. Where are you going? DC, nothing exciting, just meetings. After you get back then. You know, she's scared to death that wife's gonna be out there watching. Thank you for the game. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> she laughing or crying? <laughs> laughing probably because she's... <laughs> she thought it was going to be something totally different. Be the fruit. Be the Lord open. Has Afghan been transferred to a new post so, so soon? I am Afghan. Oh, weird. So, what does that mean? Fuck. Yeah. Exactly. What does that mean? Does that mean... Gosh, wow. Was that other girl really off Glen? Or they got rid of her? Something happened to her. And now there's a new handmaid at that house named off Glen because they get the name of the man that's the head of the house. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm sure she felt really relieved that it... And probably strange that he had called her up there to play Scrabble. Um, 
But, like I said, that's probably the most normal thing, quote-unquote normal thing she's had in the last, since she was, you know, kidnapped and put into this life. But, and that whole birthing scene, that was bizarre. That was bizarre. You know, I guess they want the wife to feel as close to having the experience as possible, but that is just bizarre. So I'm going to get to the next episode to see what happened to Auckland. So any comments, um, leave them below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified for new videos. And we will see you on the next one. Peace out.